Hello, come back here. In this episode, I want to tell you about Big Belly Fishes for the second time because first video that I made about it, I will put on private status. That's because it had invalid calculation on the profit part. I'm going to fix this now and this video is similar but it has correct calculation. In my previous video I assumed that if you spend 500 ground fish tam you will receive 500 big belly fishes in return which was a wrong assumption because you cannot get 100% catch rate on those. You will get less. This method is still a decent way of money making for some of you who are lazy as I am but it's definitely not as good as I presented in my previous video. That's why let me apologize you here and I hope that I will be able to avoid this kind of mistakes in future. Advanced fishing will be unlocked when you reach 230k fishing proficiency without any items. Those bonus items will not count in, you just need to max your proficiency and then when you go out to Sunspec Sea, you can use Ground Fish Cham, Frozen Wave Fishing Rod, activate your fishing title, that's a reward for reaching maximum proficiency, that's called Anything is Possible, and you can start advanced fishing. But in this video, I want to calculate different variants, if, if it's worth to open it, and if you should obtain it by catching or by buying it directly from the auction house. So let's start, I have like, I have 500 of those big belly fishes, you will need 10 labor to open each one of those and let's begin. Ok, so we are almost finished with the opening and let me tell you a bit about uh, labor investments and gold investments in those two variants. In first variant I assume that I will catch the fish, so I need 6000 labor to obtain 500 big belly fishes. I need 500 ground fish chums, that's around 15 gold and frozen wave fishing rod, it lasts for 50 days so I assume that cost per day is 6 gold here. Maybe that's a bit inaccurate but I think it's it's realistic to assume that per day this, this fishing rod will cost me 6 gold and there it is. That's the first thing, we need 6000 labor and 21 gold in total if we want to catch the fish. Second variant we assume that we are going to buy the fish. To buy 500 big belly fishes, we need to spend 1500 gold. That's because one big belly fish is around 3 gold on the auction house, on NA Vengeance au auction house. I tried to find it on EU, but there was none. Maybe it's different on other auction house clusters or I wasn't paying attention. If you have any additional information here, I would appreciate it in the comments. Let's look what kind of loot we received from 500 of those big belly fishes. We've got blank canvas, clubhead spores, brinebound rock, solzrian mackerel and different types, different grades of treasure maps with coordinates. 51 black canvas and let's see how much gold is it in total. So 51 of those, 1 gold per unit, around 51 gold, clubhead spore, 42 of those, Still around 1 gold, let's assume it's uh, 95 silver as the auction house says, so that would give us almost 40 gold. Brinebone rock is used for crafting ship component regrade scrolls, we have 24 of those, they are also cheap right now. They sometimes go a bit above 1 gold, maybe close to 2 gold, but let's assume safely that right now we could sell it for 90 silver each, that would give us around 21 gold, 22 gold in total. Next item is Souls Real Mackerel, that's a nice surprise because we've received a lot of those, we've got 276 of those and one of them is worth around 1.34 gold. That's a good score here because in total this will give us 370 gold and uh, well if you check with those down lake essences as you saw me in the video doing so, 3 souls real mackerels equals 1 down lake essence so I assume that this calculation is accurate because a down lake essence is worth around 4 gold so yeah this might be worth 1.34 gold so that's good. Next, a big surprise here, we have heroic treasure map with coordinates and it's really difficult to set a price on this one but it has a chance to give you an Ayanat's design. For treasure hunter it's priceless, I'm not going to sell but if I would want to sell I would want to get 
950 gold for it and I would probably sell it last, like this one person that listed it, it on the auction house recently. Next we have arcane treasure maps with coordinates. We have one. This one doesn't have a chance to give you Ayanat scroll design but it has a chance to give you some mana wisp. So it's 135 gold. It will sell for this price for sure. Next lowest tier map rare treasure map with coordinates 28 of those they are worth 12 gold per map but in total that's almost 350 gold turns out that we've burned 500 5000 labor on this and we've got 1915 gold i think it's a decent score but we need to calculate silver per labor to first i made the mistake here because i assumed that i need 6000 labor to spend 500 ground fish charms and this is exchanged into 500 big belly fish. Turns out that 6000 labor gave me exactly 389 big belly fishes, which means that to make this math work, I would have to assume that I need to spend 7712 labor to get 500 big belly fish. The only calculation that I got right in my previous video was by the fish variant which said that in this case I would earn around 8.31 silver per labor because I've earned 1915 gold and I invested 1500 gold to get those fishes from the market. My pure profit was 416 gold and that turns into 8.32 silver per labor. And next we have a variant where we are catching the fish and we are also opening it to sell the loot. In this case we spent much more labor, but we don't invest so much gold. So our earnings here would be 1960 gold. Gold invested would be 21 gold, that's amount needed to, to use frozen wave fishing rod and get 500 ground fish chumps from the market. Our pure profit would be 1894 gold, which turns into almost 15 silver per labor. And the third variant that's, that turned out to be the most profitable was to just sell the fish. We've spent 7712 labor points to get 500 of those big belly fishes and each belly fish was worth, back when I was making the video, was worth 3 gold each. Which means that our total gold earned would be 1500 gold, we invested 21 gold that's 21 gold and pure profit would be 1,479 gold. In this case, we would earn over 19 silver per labor point spent. That's the correct calculation and I will be opening more of those, but I'm not going to make videos about it. I'm going to post my findings on Facebook because it will be easier for me to comment below the picture and that would be it. I can, I can give you additional data but not in a form of a YouTube video because it's too much work and it would be too boring to continue making video series about me opening big belly fishes. The best road that we can pick if we aren't aiming for Ionat scroll designs, then the best choice we have is just to catch those fishes and sell them right away. Do not open them because it will be uh, less silver per labor for you and if you aren't focusing on uh, getting the heroic treasure maps then well there's no point for you to aim at opening those uh, big belly fishes and we need to remember that maybe in this case I just got one heroic map so it might be possible that someone will not get it out of 500 and then his profit here will be much less and it will be terrible if you calculate so we need to remember that it's still RNG and well I've tested on as much as I could I can tell you that so far I have three heroic maps so for me it seems like out of 500 I always get one heroic map but it's still RNG it's still low chance and I didn't open enough to give you solid numbers solid percentage drop chance here so yeah to sum it up biggest surprise is that it's, it was best for us to just sell the fish and let someone else open it and it's a really interesting money making method. I think for me personally I, I really enjoy hunting treasures so I'm hoping for those maps but if any of you go out there and train fishing proficiency to maximum I think that you should sell big belly fishes directly on the auction house instead of opening them. That's my opinion. I maybe in the future I will provide you additional information on how much it might be worth or how big the chance it, it is for us to 
find heroic treasure maps and and then we will have a better point of view on it but for now that's it from me i hope you liked the video i hope uh, you enjoyed it if you did please hit the like button comment or subscribe thank you very much and see you later